Hi everyone, I'm Danny Dancer. I'm the Kidtropolis Educator here at Children's Museum Houston. And today's Educator Moment is sponsored by Bank of America. So you've heard me use the phrase save early, save often before, and how money that you put into a savings account or money that you invest has the opportunity to earn interest. So today I'm going to talk to you about compound interest, and then we're going to do a really fun challenge outside to see how it works. So. The idea is this, if you invest money, then over time you can earn money from that investment. That's what we call interest. But the interest you earn is added to your total investment, so now it is earning interest too. So your interest earns interest, and that's what compound interest means. So now how much you earn depends on how well your investment does, and it is not a guarantee. But for the sake of this activity. Let's say you saved $100 a year in a piggy bank every year for 25 years. How much money would you have saved? Well, you'd have $2,500, not bad. Now let's imagine you invest that money every year and every year you earn 10% interest on your total investment. How do you think that would affect how much money you'd have after 25 years? Well, to answer this question, we are going to give you a challenge. The Compound Interest Marathon. Here's how the challenge goes. For those who don't know, a marathon is about 26 miles. So for this challenge, we are going to imagine that each lap of our marathon represents one year. Now the amount of money we are going to invest every year will be one nickel. Now we're gonna use real money for this example, but you can do this with play money or homemade money instead at home. And we are going to see what happens if our investment earns 10% interest every year. Now for this challenge, we are actually going to head outside. So come with me. Okay, everybody, we are outside and I have my friend Jason here ready to help us out with this challenge. Jason, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Awesome. Now you have actually run a marathon before. Is that right? This is true. I've actually run more than one marathon nice. across many cities in this country, including the one here in Houston. Very cool. All right. So we are, of course, not going to make Jason run 26 miles right now. So we're just going to do 26 laps and you can set a path that works for you, but try to challenge yourself. For example, maybe you would head to the park and do each lap around the playground. All right, so Jason, at the start of every lap, you are going to drop one nickel into this jar, and that is your annual or your yearly investment. Yes. Now, as you finish your lap, I am going to add the interest based on the total amount that's in the jar. So for example, when you run your first lap, you will invest five cents so you would earn half a cent which I'm gonna just round up to one penny which would bring your total then to six cents right now on your second lap you'll invest another nickel your total becomes 11 cents which will also earn you a penny at 10% interest right but just keep going run as many laps as you can it is up to you when you want to stop but I would encourage you to see if you can go the full 26 lap marathon are you ready I'm ready and I got this 26 laps no problem nice. all right let's start with our Initial investment of five yes. cents and go! <laughs> All right, now for my friends at home, I have actually created a chart that shows how much interest Jason is earning with each lap he takes. I'm not actually going to show you the full chart. I want to save that for the end, but you can find the link to download this chart so that you can try this at home in the description below the video. All right, I hear Jason coming around for the first time, so he's going to earn that interest. Remember, it would only be half a cent, but we're going to round that up to one penny. And done. Jason's going to go ahead and put in his second investment, and he is off on year two. Good luck. <laughs> All right, check it out. Jason is on his fifth lap, which means so far he's invested 25 cents. Now the first two laps, he earned a penny each year. Then he had enough invested to earn two pennies in years three and four. And now here comes Jason up on the end of year five, and he is about to earn three cents. Nice, so we can already yeah. see that the interest he is earning is growing. Jason, you're doing a great job, keep it up. 
right, everybody. Jason is on lap number 12. I think he might be getting a little tired, but check it out. He has invested 12 nickels, that's 60 cents, and he is about to earn 11 cents in interest. But keep in mind, great job, Jason. He is still just investing one nickel every year. That means he's earning more than double the amount of money he is investing. Keep it going, Jason, you're doing so well. Folks, we are on year 17, and Jason is now earning 20 cents interest. That's four times the amount of money that he is actually investing every year. Remember, he earned 10 cents after 12 years, and after 17, his earned interest is doubled. Jason, are you ready to stop? No. No, awesome, good for you, you're doing so well. Keep it up. Year 23, and he is earning 40 cents, eight times the amount that he's invested. And look at the amount of money in this jar. We're gonna have to start a new jar. Jason, you only have three more laps to go. Can you finish this? I know you can, let's do it. <laughs> Year 25 started and he has earned a whopping 50 cents on that total in amount. He just needs to finish this final 26 lap and he will earn 55 cents. And he has still only been putting in one nickel every year. Here he is. I just added his final earned interest and let's go ahead and close this account. Awesome job, Jason. Very, very nice. I actually added it into the wrong amount. Let me give it to you because you earned this for sure. All right, now <laughs> let's take a look at the original investment. Now remember, Jason invested a nickel once a year for 26 years. So without interest, that would have been $1.30. But with investing his money and earning 10% interest on his investment every year, and then leaving that money alone so that he earned interest on the investment and the interest, compound interest, his grand total after 26 years is $6.05. More than four and a half times the amount that you would have otherwise saved. Very nice, you get the jar too. All right, now this obviously took a little bit more time and a little bit more effort, right? But definitely worth the reward. Definitely worth the reward. <laughs> yes. Nice. All right, now Jason, if you had quit after only five years, you would have actually earned less than 10 cents interest. And if you'd have quit after 11 years, you would have earned just under 50 cents. Not bad, but the magic of compound interest is that the longer you leave your money invested, the more it has the chance to grow. Now, it's very important to remember that there is no guarantee that your investment will increase in value. So keep that in mind whenever you choose to invest. And always do your research before you invest any of your money in real life. Now, if you want to try this challenge at home, check out that description below for this table here that you can download and see if you can get other members of your family to try the challenge with you. You'll know exactly how much money you earn with each lap you try. Meanwhile, thank you so much everybody for joining Jason and me for today's educator moment. Jason, thank you so much for putting in all of that work. You're very welcome, it was fun. Excellent. And for for everybody at home, we hope you have fun with this challenge too. Today's Educator Moment, once again, was sponsored by Bank of America. So thank you to them, and we hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye, guys!